Hi, good morning teachers and friends. Today, me and my roommates will be presenting our engineering exploration project, which is called the Sky Bar. So, here is our morph chart, as you can see. So, here is the sub-functions and solution. Each of us came up with each solution set to meet the sub-functions requirement. So, for example, for convenience, we chose Kappa, Void Deck, and the HGB roof. So, yeah, this is roughly it. Okay, so here is our objective constraints mind map, as you can see. So, uh, this uh, environment friendly, convenience, and maintaining freshness is our objective, and the limitations is the constraint part. So, as for the environmental friendly part, we are targeted to uh, saving energy, so we decided to use solar panels to reduce uh, carbon footprints. And for the convenience part, we decided to uh, go with uh, car parks as a uh, it brought closer to consumers. And as for the maintaining freshness vibe, we decided to use air conditioner to keep the uh, vegetable fresher in the air conditioned environment. So basically for the limitation part, right? So um, because this whole, uh, whole sky farm will be automated, fully automated, so it will, cost, it will be quite expensive, especially if you are buying solar panels and all the, basically the robot stuff. So yeah, so as for the automated farming part, right? Uh, we'll be facing and there will be technical difficulties. So yeah, this is the limitations we face. So next, all right. So for the concept of the sky farm, right? So basically, it's a sky, it's a farm on top of a roof which is fully automated by robots. And then um, there will be solar energy. There will be solar panels by the side to uh, provide to so-called power the whole sky farm, like the whole robots, electricity, and blah blah blah, etc. Sorry. And then um, our rooftop sky farm will be built with a uh, glass and steel structure on top. So as for the side wall, right, uh, it will be built with uh, concrete and glass. For the glass part, right, um, consumers can see through how um, the sky farm is being, like uh, how it works and how the vegetables are being harvested. So. Um, when the vegetables are being harvested, right, you transport to the vending machine. So for the transaction part, right, the consumers can proceed to the vending machine and select what kind of vegetables they want. So yeah, and then uh, for the condi air conditioning part, right, um, it's being powered by solar panels to ensure the vegetables are kept fresh uh, within a certain temperature. And then the plants are being harvested by robots that is being used by a program. So, yeah, next. So this is our exterior part, the sketch of our exterior of the sky farm. So basically, as you can see, this is uh, made of glass, and this side will also be made of glass. And then for the side, side wall I was talking about just now, is being built by a concrete, concrete and concrete. So for this roof, right, will be, the solar panels will be put on top of it. So yeah. So we came up with a vertical farming solution because um, our sky farm, we have very limited spaces in the rooftop of the car park. So we decided to came up with a vertical farming. So vertical farming, right, we designed our own uh, vegetable pole, as you can see here. Basically vegetables will be put here, will grow out of here, and yeah. So uh, for this roof, as you can see, right, so we went for the automated harvesting, right, so basically, uh, this robot will be placed on the ready to harvest point. So basically, the sliders, as you can see, will slide. Uh, basically, the vegetables are being uh, that is ready to be uh, to be harvested, right? Will slide to the point. So the robot will pick up the vegetables and then put it inside the vending machine for consumers to buy. So as you can see, right? See, right? Uh, this video will show you how our so-called slider will work. And then, yeah. So basically, right, uh, this idea, uh, we're being influenced by it. So yeah, so you can see the vegetables will be slight to the point then ready to be harvested. That's all. So now I'll pass it to my roommate, Sean. He will be talking. He will be talking about the exterior part of the sky farm. Okay, thank you, Johnson, for your time.
Okay, right now I'll be talking about the exterior components of the sky farm. So on the exterior side of the sky farm, we have roof, the walls, and solar panels and the vending machine. So these are some of the material that we consider using for the roof and the wall. So it's all right, stated right here. So some of the materials for the roof, as you can see, we have the steel, wood, asphalt, glass, and aluminium. And for walls, it's all right here. All right. Next slide, please. Alright, so these are, these are the short list of materials that we have picked for our roof. So we are using stainless steel and glass for our roof. We chose these materials as we all want a sturdy covering for our farm and we don't want the, the farm to need repairs or replacements constantly. So here are some of the functional requirements for the roof. So for a roof to work, it must be stable, it must be durable, it must be fire resistant, and it must be fire resistant and weather resistant. Alright, so why did we select stainless steel? It is, it's because uh, stainless steel has high tensile strength and it has good durability. So these are all essential because we want a roof to be able to withstand pressure or damage. And so our idea for our roof is that we are using uh, steel frame framing and glass. So the glass will be inserted in between each steel framing as well. So why did we pick stainless steel? It's because it is fire resist resistant and weather resistant so okay because uh, in the event of a fire stainless steel is able to preserve its structural integrity and it, it has a high resistance to prolonged elevated temperatures and steel is also weather resistant because um, it still is an alloy and it an oxide layer is formed by the alloy elements which also prevents corroding. So all these are essential and it makes it weather resistant. Alright, so glass is also being used for our roof is because uh, we want our roof to be transparent as well. So more specifically, more specifically we are talking about tempered glass. Uh, tempered glass it has high resistance and it can withstand great amounts of pressure or damage. And this Okay, and then uh, it has a far high, higher load and breakage resistance as well. And okay, so uh, glass is also resistant to corrosion as well because um, if you take for example a glass window that we use at home, um, after being exposed to several elements, it still remains clear and unaffected as well. That's why um, we have decided to use uh, tempered glass for uh, our roof. Alright, the next exterior component that we're talking about is the walls. Alright, uh, we have decided to use concrete and glass for our walls. So these are some of the functional requirements for building a wall. So it must be stable, it must be durable, fire, and again, uh, some resistance as well. Alright, so concrete is being selected as it has high durability and it has high tensile strength as well. So it can uh, withstand quite a huge amount of pressure or damage. So uh, concrete is also used in this case because in the event of fire, concrete won't be set on fire and it won't uh, emit any toxic fumes. So these are all essential because we don't want our vegetables to be burned or damaged by fire. So uh, glass is also used as well because uh, we want consumers to be able to observe our harvesting process in the farm. So glass is being used and more specifically we are also using tempered glass as well because we want uh, the walls to be transparent but yet durable at the same time. Yeah. Right. So lastly, uh, on the exterior component we are using, uh, we also have solar panels as well. So uh, we didn't actually uh, state the materials used for solar panels because we are actually buying the solar panel. So, here are some of the parts that um, are used to make the solar panels and basically the purpose of uh, make you purchasing these solar panels is that we want the solar panels to be able to power the entire farm. Yeah, and yeah, more, specific, more specifically, again, is the air conditioners. Right, so right now I'll be talking, uh, passing my time to Jonathan and he'll be talking about the interior components of the sky farm. Action. Okay, thank you Sean for the for your presentation on the previous few slides. Okay, so now I'm here to basically uh, explain to you about the interior components that is in the sky farm. And we have about four, we have four interior 
components. We have the sliders, the shelves, the water sprinklers and the air conditioners. So for the materials that we have considered, we have considered for two, for two components which are the sliders and the shelves. For the sliders, we considered both iron and steel alloy. While for the shelves, we, we considered steel, aluminium, copper, plywood and oak. Okay, so for the sliders, we have chose steel alloy as the material that we want to use. As steel alloy, as because we, we need to meet some functional requirements for the sliders, such as strength, durability, and shock resistance. The reason why we chose steel alloy is because um, when, when the sliders are in use, they will be subjected to very high amounts of stress and this requires a good uh, requires a high quality of steel uh, for it to function safely and effectively yes okay so the next one we have is the shelves we have considered we have chosen two materials to to make the shelves uh, both steel and aluminium and some of the functional requirements we have for the sliders are strength, stability and durability and we chose this material so that it can withstand uh, high amounts of weight so that the shelves wouldn't collapse while we plant many types of vegetables and so that uh, yeah, basically uh, so that there will not be any accidents that happen within the sky farm And yes, I come to the end of our presentation. Thank you for your time.